other sands today. And it should be quite a fun one. It's a bit of uh, interesting strumming in it. The chords are fairly simple. Capital to the fourth fret, B minor, A, it's G's. It's fairly easy, but we just probably need to work a wee bit on the right hand pattern. So we'll focus on that more. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so we are capoed that fret number four here. One, two, three, four. There we go, standard tuning. You should sound like that. Alright. So, uh, what we'll quickly do is we'll quickly flash up the shapes and the tab for this as well. So we'll get these on the screen right now. Okay, so we can see from our, our chords here that we've got the first set is B minor, then we've got D, and then we've got G. Okay, so you can see there's a kind of strange looking G there. I'll quickly go through the fingering for each chord, you can have a look at, and then we can get fired into this uh, pattern with the right hand. Okay, so here's our chords. First of all, it's B minor. Classic bar chord. You're going to bar it, what would be your second fret from your capo. You're going to bar that with your first finger. So you can go all the way down the strings. Third finger, D string at the, what would be your fourth fret with the capo. Then your pinky is going to go directly underneath that on the G. Middle finger is going to go on the string underneath that. Third fret on the B there, so you can see it. And that last note is going to be played by the bar here with the first finger. So playing from the A string, we should get this in. Okay, we can hear that sound. It's normal B minor chord. Next chord, we're going to do uh, D sus2. Okay, so D sus2, fairly simple. If we know a D chord, it usually looks like that, a triangle shape. We're just going to lift off the middle finger. We'll get that sound. And then our last chord is a G. Now we'll probably know a G to be something like this. I would think you guys will probably know this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change our G shape to this. Awesome sounding chord, this one. It's G sus2, this one. A bit different to what you guys are probably used to. Quite a big stretch as well. So this might take a bit of practice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take middle finger on the third fret on the E. Third finger, third fret on the B, and then our pinky here is going to go all the way to the fifth fret on the high E. So it's going to give us that. It's going to, we're going to be muting out that A string there. You can hear that there, it's kind of muted out. That happens sort of automatically with this middle finger being kind of lazy with it. So we should be playing all the strings, but no A coming through. So that's our chords, B minor, D and G. Simple. Right, let's go on to our right hand pattern now for each chord. Right, so we have our right hand pattern. Now it's the same for every chord, but what we have to do is we have to just change the bass note sometimes. And by the bass notes I mean the lowest notes of each chord. Because each chord starts from a different string. The B minor chord would we'd start from the A string. That's where our root is. Our D chord we would start from. D string and our G chord we would start from the low E string because that's the lowest note. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a sort of pattern that's very similar to a John Mayer style of playing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with John Mayer but if you check out a couple of his songs like uh, say Stop This Train and Heart of Life and uh, Who Says, they're like a couple of these popular ones, a few popular ones there you'll hear this same sort of pattern kind of going through. It's very, very similar. So, this is the way we're going to play it. We're going to play thumb, first of all. It's going to be playing the root note of each chord. Okay, so in B minor, it would obviously be this one. Okay, that A string. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our index finger, okay, and we're going to be strumming down the strings. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, like so. Okay, so that's bass, strum with the index. Now what we're going to do after that is we're going to play bass, strum down, and then strum back up. Okay, so it's bass, down, up. Okay, now what you can do is you can get a little pattern practicing like that, which would be bass, down, up, bass, down, up. 
sort of pattern hand in there it's quite cool all we have to do is just play that twice the second time we were adding in just a slight variation so we're going to be playing this first of all bass down up okay with index finger down up then we're going to do bass again followed by an index finger on the G on the G string there so this so that would be bass index on the G and then we would do our strum okay so that would give us a 3 and 4 and pattern, okay? So if I played this through all together, we would have 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and. So that's thumb, down, up, thumb, G, picked with index finger, then a down, up with index finger again. So it's... Okay, so hopefully you guys have caught that. If not, um, what I'll do is I'll flash the tab up on the screen for you to see these chords right now, actually. That'll be a good thing. And what you can see on the tab, let's pop up just now for you, you can see that our chords, our first note of our chords, are always played with our thumb. Okay, so that's that's what the T is standing for above the bass note of that. Okay, bass note of our chord, the T. And then the downs and ups are obviously the chords, so that's played with the index finger down and then up. And then you've obviously got, afterwards you've got your thumb, then your index plucking a note on the G string, and then another down up pattern. It's the same for every chord, we just have to change the bass notes, okay? So the B minor chord should start to sound like this. Okay, speed up. do is do on each chord. So, here's our D chord, squeaky drum stool I'm sitting on now, do apologise. Okay, that's our D chord there. What we're going to do is it's the same thing, starting from the D string though. So it's bass, down, up, bass, then index on the G, down, up. faster with that sometimes you maybe find that your index finger is not quite plucking the right string for you it doesn't really matter once you get up to speed sometimes you'll maybe pluck the B by mistake or you'll maybe pluck when you're on the G chord you may pluck the D by mistake keep the pattern going because it'll sound good you're playing part of the chord anyway so you want to play it just nice and loose okay so let's do it for the G chord G chord is this one here okay one we looked at before Let's try this through. Okay, so all that is, is our thumb playing up here on the E this time. Fingers are the same though. Down, up, thumb, then index on the G, and then down, up again with index. So. Okay, so you go through B minor. for you so you can watch this right hand so it's B minor I'm on there right now then D start from the D string <coughs> sorry and then okay so let's do it a little bit faster watch this right hand here move on to the chorus and that's our last part of the song that we need to do. Okay, so here's our chorus chords. Quite simple. E minor. Okay, you see what that looks like there? That's fingers one and two. Nice and simple. Up to the G. Okay, so that's middle index on the E and the A respectively. And then down here on the B and the E you've got your third finger 
followed by your pinky of the third fret. Okay, and then you've got D, triangle shape, quite a simple one, and then our A chord. Now I'm going to play the A a little bit differently for this one, so I'll pop up the chords right now so you can see them. You can follow through your, uh, your chord diagrams here, so I'll put them up right now for you, right here. Uh, you can see from your chord diagrams, you can see it's got the fingers written down. So the fingers are the numbers, so it's like if you're using like 1 and 2, that's obviously means you're going to be using your index middle finger and so on. So you can see the A chords got a slightly different way of uh, fingering and maybe what you're used to. A lot of people put three fingers in a row, but what we're going to do is we're going to put our mid, uh, our, sorry, our index finger on the G and then put our middle and third finger around that to create our A chord. Makes for an easier change. So this is our A chord here. So it's the D string second fret here. Index finger first fret. Uh, sorry, index finger second fret as well, sorry, underneath. Third finger goes directly underneath that at the second fret. So that's the D, G and B string that's being played at the second fret and then we strum from the A string all the way down. That'll give us our A chord sound that we're looking for. Alright, so hopefully you guys should be able to follow that through fine. Um, I'll pop up the tab for this as well, so here's the tab for it. You can probably work out most of the things you need to do from the tab here to now. You can see it's exactly the same strumming pattern as the verse. You're just playing different chords. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you that the pattern with the right hand and you should be ready to go with practicing through this tune. Okay, so here's our right hand for our chorus. It's exactly the same. So you get your E minor chord. And all you're going to do is you're going to be playing thumb on the E, strum down and up with the index finger, then low note again, followed by a pluck on the G with the index finger, and then a strum down again. So that's pick, strum down, strum up, pick with the thumb, pick with the index on the G, then another two strums. Okay, I'll speed up a little bit. Remember we're on E minor here. You can see here, E minor chord. We're going to play this. So here we go. So it's thumb, strum, then thumb again, index, strum again. So it's thumb, strum, up, thumb, pick, strum. that on every chord. So you would do it on the G, which was this. Let's do this. Okay. And then on the D. Now our D changes because we're playing from the D string. So our, our low note changes from up on the E, goes down to E now. Like so. And then our A chord change, we go around the first finger to change it. First finger stays in place. And we do that, so we go thumb, strum down, strum up, thumb, index, strum down, strum up. I'll quickly have a little playthrough of the, the chorus, how it would sound, um, all together. So I'll just watch the right hand here, I'm going to be changing E, G, D, and A. So here we go. bit of sense to you. Um, obviously have a practice through, enjoy it, it's a fun tune. Uh, if you have any questions, comments or anything, leave them below for me. Um, any requests for any more tunes, obviously any more Benjamin Francis Lefwich, any pop tunes that you need to know, I'll happily make tutorials for them for you. It's no problem at all. So until next time, see you later.